18 bikes, three price points, sub 1,000 pound, sub 750 pound, sub 500 pound. It can only mean one thing, MBR's 2018 Hardtail of the Year test. Not only is this the biggest and most comprehensive test of sub 1,000 pound hardtails, it's arguably the most important test in the MBR calendar. Because every year without fail, we're shocked at the gulf in performance between the best and the worst bikes in this test. And while the spread of ratings show no sign of narrowing, the good news is that it's more competitive than ever at the sharp end of the test. Take the Norco Fluid HT2 for example. Last year, it was the only bike in the sub 1000 pound category to benefit from the extra grip and comfort of plus size tires, a distinct advantage that afforded it the win. This year, there are four bikes with high volume tires and Norco has slipped back to fourth position. That's a sea change, and proof of it were needed that this test is anything but stagnant. In the end, Vitas took the win in the 1K category with the Sontier VR Plus scoring a perfect 10 rating. It was a close call between Sonder and Vitas though. The slightly narrower and more versatile 2.6 inch Maxxis tires and lightweight frame clinching it for Vitas. Traditionally, the 750 pound category is something of a no man's land consisting largely of down spec XC bikes that aren't shown much love. One brand bucking that trend, however, is Caliber. The Line 10, the hot ticket to win the test. It wasn't to be. Instead, Voodoo worked its magic, the Bizango 29 proving once again that its pedigree is beyond question. With revised frame geometry and the addition of a silent running, slick shifting, one by drivetrain, the Voodoo ticks every box. The fact that it costs considerably less than any of its rivals is what really sealed it for us though. If there's one brand working harder than anyone else to deliver the best hardtails, it's Vetus. Not only did it win the sub 1000 pound class, but the Nucleus VR makes it three wins in a row in the sub 500 pound category. That's a serious track record. And by upping its game with a new frame and better geometry, Vetus easily did more than enough to keep it abreast of the competition. Factor in the only air sprung suspension fork with adjustable rebound damping at this price point, grippy WTB tires, and one of the best cockpit layouts, and it's easy to see why Vetus was untouchable. So those are the headlines, but if you want the full scoop, be sure to watch our in-depth reviews on all three winning bikes. These videos will be dropping soon, so stay tuned.